The equation x squared plus kx plus 8 equals k has no real solutions for x. I need to show that k satisfies that inequality. So we've got a quadratic equation here. I'd like it to equal 0, not k. So first thing I'm going to do is to take k away from both sides. So that's going to give me x squared plus kx plus 8 minus k is equal to 0. Now, the fact that it has no real solutions, that's telling me that the discriminant of this equation, the b squared minus 4ac, has to be negative if there's no real solutions. So let's figure out what a, b and c are for this equation. The a is 1. The b is k, and the c is the number that's by itself with no x's, so all of this is the c. Put that in brackets there, because we're going to need that. Right, so let's substitute these into the discriminant then. Let's substitute them into the b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is k squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8 minus k, and that should be less than 0. k squared, I can't simplify that. The minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. And now let's expand those brackets. The minus 4 times the 8 is minus 32. The minus 4 times the minus k is plus 4k. And now I'm just going to swap the k and the, the 4k and the minus 32 around. And we can see that's what we needed to show. Part B. Hence find the set of possible values of k. So I want to solve this quadratic inequality. I'm going to start off by factorising to find the roots. So two numbers that multiply to make minus 32 and add to make 4 are 8 and minus 4. So that's telling me that my roots are minus 8 and plus 4. So let's draw a quick sketch to make sure we get this right. Like I said, the roots are minus 8 and 4. So my quadratic discriminant is going to look like this and we're interested in when that is negative when it is less than zero well it's less than zero it's negative in between the minus eight and the four so my answers are that k has to be greater than minus eight but less than four